I'm not going to be back for tea. I'm going to grab something while I'm out. No, I don't know what time I'm going to be back. So, um, have any of the lads called to complain about waking up in a skip or, I don't know, A&E? Not so far. Right, then your stag do was a massive <laughs> failure. <laughs> but the food was great, so thanks for a job well done, Marla. <laughs> hey, I heard what happened to Arthur. Yeah, I think everyone's heard what happened to Arthur, which has made the whole thing a million times worse for him. Poor well, lad. Oh, I could write a book about my teenage years. The do's, the don'ts, and the absolute hell knows. <laughs> Might get done for slander, though. I remember Jay's first heartbreak. <laughs> Denise Lynch, wasn't that her name, Jay? If only we could edit out our past, eh? With a big red marker pen. <laughs> the offer still stands about talking to him. We can't do any harm. Are you serious? You can do a lot of harm. I just want to help. Who? Arthur or you? Come on now, we don't need another scene, do we? At least not unless I'm playing the starring role on it. <laughs> you wormed your way into my stag do. But nothing has changed between us. Nothing. Please, Jay. How many times do I need to tell you? Unless you can tell me the truth, the door is closed to you, and you playing nice doesn't get it opened. Look, you're upset. I still feel a little bit like death, but probably not as bad as Arthur. No, Arthur's fine. I think the best thing for Marshall is that he's a million miles away from his dad, and I use that term very lightly. I can't believe he came in here and started shouting at you. No, oh, no, he can shout at me, but not at my son. Oh, are you right, love? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you hungry? Do you want something to eat? I don't know. Oh, I'll make you something nice. You sit down, yeah? I'm fine. No, I'll make you something nice. Hey, listen, I know you don't want to hear you'll get over it, but you will. You know, you will get over it and him. I just said... Yeah, you're fine, I know, but I also know that it really hurts. And it should do, you know, if that person meant anything to you, it should. What about mac and cheese, yeah? And I know it'll also take a long time before it stops feeling raw. <laughs> I mean, imagine getting your heart ripped out on your wedding day. Clubby, this isn't about you. You and Nikki... Were... Yeah, we're different, yeah, I know. Exactly. But there's no point dressing it up, is there? Those other fish in the sea. Well, I'm just saying, whilst you're looking for those other fish, be careful not to have your heart ripped out by a shark. This really was...